all, assuming the office of county sheriff, yeah, the county sheriff, <laughs> the oath or affirmation after election and before assuming office, the county sheriff must sign and affirm an oath of office loyalty oath, <laughs> similar to the sample oath affirmation shown in figure six. Yes. <laughs> now, um, I thought this was really good. <laughs> Uh, the the district judge usually administers the oath of office. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, to the county sheriff on the first working day in January, the signed oath is filed with the county clerk. Uh -huh. Oath affirmation. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution. Yes. And the laws of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And the Constitution and the laws of the state of Oklahoma. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I will faithfully discharge, according to the best of my ability, the duties of en of my office or employment during such time as I am. Pooch. Uh, here, put the name of the office or of employee and employee of, followed by the complete designation of the employing officer, agency, authority, commission, department, or institution. Uh, subscribed and uh, notary public does uh, the the signing or other officer authorized. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now uh, this I will uh, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America. Yes. Uh, this supporting of the laws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you issue a court order that uh, was not issued in accordance with the requirements of the Violence Against Women's Act and it violates the full faith and credit of the United States Constitution because the petitioner didn't sign it. Yeah. I wasn't given any new due process and there was no proof of actual service. Yes. The court order itself says that I did not receive actual notice and opportunity. <laughs> This concept of jurisdiction where you said that it was only this county that has jurisdiction. <laughs> the actual oath of every sheriff of the United States says that they do have to support the Constitution. <laughs> and they have to support the requirements of the VAWA so as to enforce the full faith and credit of every state of the United States. <laughs> now for all those sheriffs that thought, no, we don't have jurisdiction, <laughs> I'm thinking you do. Now I've asked you to remove that court order. <laughs> And you refuse to do it. So we'll talk about some more end-of-life experiences for those that were in the pockets of America's sheriffs. Yes. <laughs> now, I told you about wanting to have swimming pools in every, in every city. Yes. And then to connect the actual municipal water supply so that we could filter the water system of all municipalities. Pooch. But we have what's known as the hydrant system, and I thought somebody put a little electricity through it. Ouch, 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 ouch. You know, in every city and county of the United States, there's an immense amount of water in the hydrants. Yes. And quite often, we don't actually use it unless there's, an, there's a fire. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. It's sitting there, doing nothing, pooch, in some old rusty pipes. And the thought was, well, why don't we connect the hydrants to the actual swimming pools that we're going to build in every city and county of the United States? Isn't that right, billionaires? <laughs> and then we'll continuously have that water running through the hydrant system, purifying it so it becomes a part of the municipal water supply. Yes. Now, could you get me the actual hydrants nearest to every sheriff's department? Yes. In fact, the hydrants that are in front of the, the personal residences of those that are in the sheriff's departments. <laughs> I just wanted to know, did somebody decide to put something through the hydrant system so as to... Well, we're going to make a few changes in the United States and some billionaires are going to give some money to make those changes happen. <laughs> now... I know. You thought we needed more policy makers. Pooch. Could you get me the think tanks? Yes. Similar to Soros. I mean, Oprah probably contributed to some think tanks. Yes. And then there's the, well, Paul Allen. Pooh. Former employee of Microsoft. Yes. And Steve Ballmer. Oh, chooch. And then there's the uh, Jobs. Yes. How are you? This is Paul. Um, of all of those, Oh my gosh, the state-run banking system, the Omaha, Nebraska, Warren, it's Paul. 
could you get me the state you know there's one state of the United States that had their own banking system the rest of them are federally chartered huge <laughs> could you get me every account in the state Omaha Nebraska isn't it yes is that where you're living at <laughs> I know you're having a problem spending your money <laughs> but I'm gonna want to know every account since the state of Nebraska <laughs> originated their first state bank because it's the only state of the United States where every <laughs> I know it's a safe bank I mean where does Warren Buffett keep his own assets pouch I'd like to know that right now <laughs> now you live in some old house that you've lived in for the last 40 50 years it's comfortable for you <laughs> I just want to know okay of all the billionaires of the United States that have any knowledge of using any technology <laughs> don't just get me every account since the state of Nebraska originated its first bank Hacha! because I'm absolutely fucking sure you're gonna spend some money today mother